All right, well, hello, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to be doing a Chevelle wiper motor with the mechanical washer pump. All right, it's got three down here and two right here. This one had the little squirter straight out like this. I don't know if they have different ones or not, but I'm only going to cover this one because it's the only one I know about. All right, and uh, these are grounded. This is the grounding strap that goes right here. I just want to make that very clear that these are not insulated insulators off of the firewall. They are actually ground straps that are strapping this body of these two parts to the firewall. So these will be grounded. Okay, so I've already kind of taken this apart. We're just going to make sure that you have one like this. Let's pop this plastic thing off. Now, bitch ass. All right, and it should look like this. We're gonna go over all this, but right now, we're gonna test the motor first to make sure it's good or bad. Okay, so this is the windshield washer motor. For some reason in diagrams, they're labeled like that. I don't know if that's correct or not. But on those three prongs, I'm gonna go over how we're gonna test this and then I'm gonna show you how to do it because some people learn like this better. So this is gonna be straight hot from the battery when we test this. This motor, you're gonna to have to figure out a way to put some type of connector on it with a black wire. You're gonna to have to figure out how to connect some kind of thing to it to ground it so you're gonna ground the body run hot to it like that okay make you a little jumper wire own custom little jumper wire I'll show you how to make it you're gonna have to make a little jumper wire like that so this is the good or bad test all right so whenever you test your low speed the first thing you want to do is you want to ground your uh, jumper wire and then you want to attach this one first over here to three attach that one and then you're going to attach this one in that order and uh, whenever you attach them like that the motor is going to go in low speed and then make sure the motor goes in low speed then you're going to go to a high speed test and on the high speed test um, you're going to take you're going to disconnect this off of there so then this one will just be hanging down and then your motors gonna run in high and then to test the park circuit you're gonna have to go back to low because it's like we were doing it in the switch the switch has to go back to low and then you're gonna disconnect the number one terminal so and whenever you do that whenever it's like that it, it should go into park and it'll park itself well don't worry about it because I'm about to show you how to do it in real life so so this is the test right here that you're going to do to confirm uh, whether this motor is good or bad and uh, it's real simple you're going to take that jumper wire like we made in the wire diagram. I mean, just ignore the big knot. I just, I didn't want to cut the wire up. But make you a jumper wire that looks like that. Something like that. And then, this is a ground from our test battery. Ground. We're just going to clamp it somewhere. Like that. And then we're going to take our jumper wire, jumper wire, we're going to ground him too. Alright, All right, now we're going to take 12, volt, 12 volts from the battery, hot, we're going to plug into the middle one, 
All right, in the middle. Now we're gonna take our jumper wire right here, and we're gonna connect this one first. And then when we, whenever we connect this one, it's going to put our motor in low speed. So we're gonna, that's the first test you need to do is uh, test the low speed. Let's test low speed. Low speed. Now you're going to test high speed. You're going to take this one off. First one off. Test high speed. High speed works. All right. Now, if you study the switch, you have to go back to low speed. So, put it back in low speed. Connect this one. All right. Now that those two work. High and low speed work. Now the final test. You need to make sure it parks itself. And if it doesn't park itself, you need to get you a new motor. And as soon as I unhook this terminal right here, this one, it's going to sling a little arm out and catch it. Watch. And that's your park. Okay, one more time. This is going to be low speed. High speed, disconnect this one. Go back in low speed, and then check your park. Disconnect this third one. And there you go, the motor works 100%. And uh, this useful information, uh, oh my God. <clears throat> you probably want to avoid getting in here because if you study the wiring, di wiring diagram of this motor, it's a little more complicated than it looks, so I would, not recommend getting involved in here and uh, anyway those three tests if you don't pass every one of them tests you need to go buy you a new wiper motor um, this is I had to make my own custom wiring diagram because there's no wiring diagram like this on the internet so go ahead and screenshot this if you're having trouble with one of these motors you'll thank me later and this is how you wire it up with your switch because you want to test all these components at once so there's no issues you want to bench test it so when you put it back in the car you're either going to confirm that there's a wiring issue or you're going to know there's no wiring issue because you already wired you go ahead and take this plastic piece it just pulls off now we're going to go on all this later but we're going to wire it up first and show you what's going on All right, so we have that cleaned off and we have a position like that, so it's like that in the car. Okay, so you look at that wiring diagram, I mentioned that. So we're just gonna wire it up like it was on the picture. Okay, so yeah, after you have it wired up like in a diagram, we got everything wired up, the motor is grounded, the Everything's grounded. I got the switch here so you can see the motor spinning. This is the switch like it would go in the car. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, hook it up. We're going to confirm the voltage. All right. Voltage is okay. We're going to go over testing it now. Low speed first. High speed. Now we're going to low speed it. Off. And it's going to go, when you turn this off, you break the ground, and then it's going to go into park. Okay. Now we're going to test the washer pump. You just push this down. And then this, this is going to... Uh, energize and magnetize and pull this little clip off and watch what happens and that's your washer pump actually working you push it it's in low speed if you push it again it's going to walk
All right. See if that spring was too loose, it wouldn't grab that plastic here. And right, we're gonna turn it off. All right, well that's just showing you what's going on. Now we're going to, we're gonna do it one more time. You have to do this test because you need to make damn sure your switch works and you need to make damn sure your motor works. So all I'm gonna talk about this is that this is a coil that energizes and it magnetizes and pulls this little thing free off and then it's when it's off you need to check the spring and make sure the spring is not weak if it is if it is too weak you need to cut a piece off of the end right here and rebend it or use a, 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 hot, a stronger spring and uh, inspect these teeth on this plastic gear and this white thing right here is very freaking important if this white thing is not on here it will not work Okay, I'll take this piece off, just three screws. We already took the grounding strap off. Get that loose, all this does is comes off. And that's what it should look like on the inside. I would uh, recommend you not go past this point. That's why we tested it out. If it doesn't work, just go ahead and go buy you a new motor. And see, the problem is when they advertise them, they always show them like this, and you don't know what the hell you're looking at, you know? so. That's the way it should look when you take it apart. Just going over that. All right, so just kind of watch me disassemble this and first of all, take this little spring off. Uh, like I said, you can cut this back and then bend it. This was the problem with this washer pump, why it did not work. But then as soon as I got it working, this went out. But we're going to go over all that. All right. We're going to go ahead and take it all off anyway. Spin that in like that. Take that off. I'm going to take this little clip off right here. Right now, just kind of pulls out. Be gentle with this coil thing. Um, let's go ahead and take the coil thing off. We're just gonna save this in case we get one later that's good. So I'm not going to throw any of these parts away. I'm just going to put them in my box. Um, let's take this little gear off. It's going to try to get stuck a second time. Just push that back. I would take all this stuff apart anyway if you're trying to troubleshoot your good, I mean your pump because notice right here that the spring is going to act like one little tooth right there. So that could be another problem if your thing doesn't want to spin. But all the teeth should be good on that. Make sure that's good. This also acts like a cam. So make sure that none of these pieces are broke off if you're trying to troubleshoot your uh, while your pump isn't working. Got it like that. All we do is just pull this out like that off. So we're going to go over the pump and I'm going to tell you what the hell goes wrong with it. This is a mechanical pump, man. It's a. It's good, but the problem is that these washer pumps went out a long time ago and this uh, these seals dried out. And we try to get them working again and they don't freaking uh, do their job okay so whenever you're trying to get this thing figured out motor might sells a kit but it's only these pieces right here this 
It's going to come with four screws, and I'm going to go over what the problem is. This is a check valve, okay? It has a suction check valve and then a whatever it's pushing check valve. And the kit is going to come with this piece. It's going to come with this piece. It's going to come with uh, this piece right here, which is the check valve. And then it's going to come with the seal. All right, that looks great, man, when you see the kit offered for it and uh, you're like, oh, man, that's all I need. Uh, no. All this worked on mine. It was... Now, this can be kind of tricky to get this damn thing out right here. Because it has a, a piston with a seal on it with a big thing like this. So, you kind of want to twist it get it out it's kind of hard man I'm telling you I've been working on these for a week now spring it's all it is it's just a lever that hooks in like that like a, like the brakes that's all it is but this is the problem right here this is the problem in mine that whenever I was uh, testing it like in a bucket of water I, uh, how do you say, like, I, uh, connected all this stuff back up and put it all back together, and I was just, like, manually pumping it, and I got the damn thing to spray water five feet in the air, but it's, the problem was, as soon as I hooked it back up to the pump, the pump doesn't allow, like, when you do it by hand, you, you can do the full motion, but the pump is only going to do, like, and it just, I could never get it primed, so that's why I'm talking about that, because, you know so you can get a heads up because the main problem with this is if you feel this cylinder it's not perfect it's not smooth it's got some uh, it's got some uh, indentions in the bore that that where these it was molded so in other words this would have to be brand new and whenever this sat for 20 years with no water on it it shrunk and uh, this isn't just an o-ring I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off just to show you and that's the problem with these pumps is you cannot buy this seal anywhere it's a problem this is kind of hard to get off it's already no good I don't it's hard to get off but this one's already bad I'm just showing you what it looks like it's real hard to get off and it's real hard to get on but see it's not I'm just showing you that because it's not just a freaking o-ring and if you could buy this right here, this, like if, if the kit had this in it too, you could, you could repair your, your mechanical washer pump. But that's why I'm making this video because you can't.